Hey guys, Strings is here with another video for you today. Today we are doing something a little bit different, a little bit odd stuff, you know, I don't re really post about, but this is something I just felt like I, I should post about. And I know I'm a bit late on this, but this is for the people who, like, don't know about this and who don't want to spend the money and, you know, for educational purposes. <laughs> but, um, this is, you know, just uh, for the people who want to just test out the stuff, not just in, you know, some... You know very limited training ground area and want to be able to like test out the toys and mess around with it for you know how long they want to and then decide if they want to buy it or not so you know so they have to do this so currently as you can clearly see hoverboard's not out yet as you can clearly see i can't buy it i can't do anything with it and yes i bought all of these with the year one pass but anyways Hoverboard. So yeah, can't buy it, can't do anything until later today, whenever this video is posted. It's going to be later on the the 5th in the morning, but this, again, for the people who don't, you know, want to buy it. So, what you want to go ahead and do first is go into this map all the way from, where is it, all the way from here, all the way up here. You want to go ahead, spawn there. And the first thing you want to do is go ahead, get on this event right here that I just drove past. You want to play this event for 30 seconds or so. So you play the events. Yeah, I might as well just show it, I guess. So you see there's proof that it works and whatnot. Okay, so what you want to do is play this event for a while, you know, just have fun with it. But I suggest, if, because if you want to, you know, make your own set of, uh, you know, kind of parameters for this to work. But what you want to do is go ahead and just drive down, and for at least 30 seconds, just play the event. I suggest going to the left side of the map. I don't know if it works vice versa with the right side or not, but um, what you want to go ahead and do is literally just go to the left side of the map. I say a good uh way to keep track of the uh, time is either a timer or whatever, or the percentage I should say, it's top right. But you want to get to the left side of the map as far as you can go. Again, I don't know if it's going to work in vice versa with the right side or not, but up oh, there it is. There's the barrier, All right? Say so go for a good amount of time and then we want to do is fail, press start, quit the event, go to social, uh, go to tools, you want to go to creative mode and there you go. You can now create your own event of this event. And this is not illegal or anything, because this is in the game. This is not a cheat code. This is not any hacks or any modifications to the game. This is literally in the game itself, in Writer's Republic. You know, it's creative mode. Ubisoft, or the creators of Writer's Republic, put it in themselves. So, you will not be, you know, or at least you shouldn't be banned for literally using their tool for doing something like this. For literally using the tool how it's meant to be so pretty much what you want to do is go ahead and delete every single checkpoint so you just want to go down delete every single one of these big checkpoints takes a good minute I'm only going to, you know, show this because I want to show you it's working as proof that it's not some weird hack or anything or something stupid. Just want to go ahead and go through it all. Now you can go for as long as you want. As long as you don't reach the finish line down there, 
this will work but you don't want to delete the finish here you want to keep it as it is and you want to go ahead and test creation all right So the reason why we're testing this is to make sure it works. All right, as you can clearly see, because for some reason, uh, when I did this a couple of times, for some reason it would say checkpoint failed or whatnot, and it would instantly break and fail me, and it would just restart or exit. But if you're clear, if nothing happens, then you know the next part is to go right behind you and go right outside this barrier. And go ahead and travel up this mountain. Now, I have already tested this. I literally spent all day testing this. And, um... There is one huge... Actually, there's a couple of downsides. The first major downside is you can only go to... Uh, I guess you can, it's the right side of the map. So yeah, you can only go to the right side of the map, mainly. Like, if I could open my map right now, you can only go in, uh, you know, that current direction all over that place. So pretty much, it's very limited. I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean later. But, uh, pretty much, give you a demonstration of this. If you go to the left side of the map, like, left side over there where the, near the checkpoint... You will get a, um, you will get a, uh, checkpoint thing, which, you know, I'll go ahead and show off in a minute. Speed this up a little bit. So, yeah, if you go to the left side of, uh, that's a weird glitch that's always happening, and I don't know why. Like, every time you use this thing, that always happens. Oh yeah, go show it real quickly, and I'll move on to the next thing. Should be happening either where I'm right up here. Brett once told me that Gary went surfing, then got lost in West Teton on the way home. Apparently he has That's a weird. in a makeshift igloo. Hello? Dubious, but worth exploring, right? Might sneak some fun. Uh... Oh, there it is. So, you will get that multiple times on the left side of the map. And there, uh, as far as I can tell, there's no way to prevent that. That's why I suggest, well, as far as I know anyways, it's why I suggest you put it on the left side as far as you can, as far as it will go. So, let's go ahead and just, uh, back to grid mode. I'm going to go ahead and abandon that because I don't need it. But yeah, before you exit, before you do any of that, what you want to do is go ahead and hit the save button. If you go back, tools, creative, you want to hit down on the D-pad or whatever the heck the save button is. Save it, publish it to, you know, save it to whatever the heck you want it to be. Then you want to go to your creations and whatnot. And if you go to my stuff, you'll see I created two. This was my first test. This is my main one reason why this is my main one is because this is the best one I could get so far. But if we go ahead and go on the map, pretty much all over here, it's like all over here up to, I got it up to here, up to the skate park. So you actually made it to where you can actually go to the skate park with the hoverboard. But the, the like, that's one of the big downsides. You can't, I mean, you can do most of the map. I mean, this is like, this right here is literally just a quarter of the map. So, you know, you get to explore all the rest of this. So, I guess it's not that big of a downside. But, the biggest downside is, since you're doing an event, you're going to be stuck in that event mode the entire time. So, you can't open your map. You can't fast travel. So, you literally have to travel to every location right with the board through. itself so be very wary of that if you don't feel like traveling 
yeah, but I'm gonna show you, you can go pretty much everywhere. Oh my god, that's so annoying. So yeah, you can pretty much just go here. If you want, you can go ahead and try to find this in my, in the community somewhere. I don't know where you can find it, but I posted it publicly. Hopefully you guys can find it. Here, here are my two ones, so. Go ahead and hit start. Start event. Let's turn around. Ow. <laughs> Anyways, turn around. Just travel up the mountain. And then you can just go ahead and start exploring, whatever. And I'm trying to press the back button. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but I'm trying to press the back button. The map doesn't open. I mean, that should be obvious if you played the game. That's no opening events, but, you know. It's whatever. So, pretty much, yeah. Just, you can travel anywhere now with the hoverboard. And don't worry about the timer. It doesn't, it, it just keeps going up. I literally sat here for three hours <laughs> doing this. So, it, you have a good amount of time. I don't know if there's an actual limit to anything or not, but you have a decent amount of time to go exploring. I've literally been to the uh, Area 51 zone and the um, Mammoth Mountain and whatnot. But yeah, you still actually still run into players, which is, you know, surprising. Hell, <laughs> he's probably like, wait, what the hell? Why does he have the hoverboard? But yeah, you can go ahead and just travel anywhere. And the rest of this video is just going to be me traveling. I'm going to, of course, cut this out. I'm going to cut out until I get to, you know, where I need to be. I might put in, like, a, you know, a spot here and there to, like, show you how far you can go. Alright guys, so as you can see, I've made it pretty far out. Got this thing in there. I wonder what the absorption level is. Is it a hundred or is it just like just infinite? <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I made it into like one of the I don't know if there's actually two or one valleys. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's more than one, like, snow valleys like this. But I made it to one of the valleys and whatnot. And I'm still going. <laughs> yeah, you can go pretty far with this. But, um, like I was saying earlier, um, reason why you want to, you know, have the, uh, event or the finish line of the, your own, you know, creation event is for some reason um I guess, I guess it wasn't far enough to the left that's why you know earlier i said to move as far as left as you can get it but uh you know when i first did this it wasn't far enough to the left and um i kept getting the uh checkpoint thing and you know the reset thing failed to get through a checkpoint and whatnot and yeah pretty much that's why you're supposed to yeah, that's why I suggest you put it all the way to the left. That way you don't get that. But yeah. Also, another tip. Um, before you do this, make sure to always put down a marker if you don't know, you know, the map too well. You know, because most of the time people are just fast traveling to places and don't know the map too well. Thankfully, I've been doing this for three hours, so... I know exactly where I'm going. The real annoying part is when you don't have enough momentum and your character keeps turning around like that. That's like one of the most annoying things about this. Thankfully, this thing has a lot of power behind it. Kind of wish this had like the the boost duration of the skis. If I get it, it's you know, it's a smaller board. But then again, eh. It's a hoverboard, man. 
should have it's a feature tech that doesn't exist <laughs> it should have unlimited potential oh not really that would literally break the game and make it super unbalanced even though it's literally just that unbalanced in of, in of itself because it it's just that powerful All right, guys. Here we are. Finally, uh, got to it. Definitely didn't get lost or turned around or anything. <laughs> but yeah, I finally found it. As you can see here, you're in the, you know, you're finally in the place, the uh, freaking Rider Republic's hub. Everyone spawns in and whatnot. So if you're in here and you're wondering, wait, how the hell does this guy have the hoverboard? You'll probably, hopefully, come across this video and you'll see how I got this. <laughs> To, you know work and everything oh yeah and uh, I'm not the person who found this I uh, thanks to a certain reddit post you can go ahead and go over to reddit's you know Reddit Republic reddit and whatnot to see who posted about it huge shout out to them for you know sharing this because I did not know this apparently this has been the game since the beta out so there's that as you can see, we've made it this far, so let's go ahead, head on over to, you know, Area 51 or whatever the hell it's called. Alright guys, and as you can see, we are finally approaching our final destination. Boy, what a trip. Yeah, it was over like 100,000 miles or whatever the measurement is in this game. Look at that, it looks so good. God, this game is amazing. It looks so clean. Look at this, beautiful. Love it, I love it. But yeah, as you can see, we're almost there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just try to cut through here. It's a bit of an annoying way to get through, but we'll see if we can do it or not. Eh, looks like we can't do it. So we're going to actually go ahead and take the, this opening right here, possibly. Get a little bit of a boost going. And we didn't make it. <laughs> and we didn't make it. There we go. That's better. Anyways, here we are. Area 52, or 1, or whatever this place is called. I, I, I don't remember the name. I don't come here too often. I like the mountain. I uh, snowy mountains more than anything. But this place isn't bad, especially for, you know, what we're all here for. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, all there is to show. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video, you know. Hope you enjoyed this little thing that was told to me. I'm, you know, giving it out to you guys before Ubisoft possibly patches it. Uh, then again, this apparently has been on a thing since the beta. So there's that. But yeah, you see here, you can go ahead. Use this thing in the skate park like it is supposed to, obviously. And just uh, do tricks and shit. Yeah, like I said, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. And remember, make sure to, if you're going to do your, you know, do the event thing yourself, just put it as far to the left as you can get it. Put it as a good spot you need to get it to and enjoy. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. All right. Peace.